Thank you, Shane. Now, I'm here with Sharif, a producer on Dead Space Extraction, and uh, now I'm happy to talk to him because, as, as I must say, uh, right off the bat, Dead Space was one of my favorite games of all last year. Uh, I, I was geeking out for it for, you know, the whole year and a half that you guys were... Uh, I, I was geeking out for it the whole year and a half leading up to release. You know, I actually worked on one of the advertising campaigns. One of the advertising campaigns was actually my brainchild that ended up getting used. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 going on with the animated comics and everything. So I want to talk to you about Dead Space Extraction yeah. and just tell us everything you got to tell us. Well, I mean, the main thing with Dead Space Extraction is that it was a game developed exclusively for the Wii, and you know, it's a prequel to the original Dead Space. So fans of the fiction can really get you know behind and get an inside look into kind of what led to the infection on you know Dead Space and they'll really be able to get identify with a lot of the environments and the characters and, and really fill in the whole of how that whole thing happened so we're really excited about it you know we took advantage of you know the, thing, the things that are unique to the Wii with the motion sensing controls and you know it really plays into our strategic dismemberment mechanic that fans of the series are familiar with and you know stasis and TK and the mechanics that we have really lend itself towards you know taking advantage of the Wii and you know we're excited to bring it out to you guys you know and it sounds great now why don't we knock out some complaints right off the bat some complaints that you will explain have no merit right here yeah. it's on the Wii yeah. it's a rail shooter yeah. and uh, clearly being on the Wii the graphics can't be as good as the other uh, systems now why don't you knock those complaints down just push them down one by one for us definitely okay well first thing you bring up is graphics okay so I would say if anybody takes a look at you know what has been out released on the Wii before and what we've been able to do with extraction uh, I think people will be pretty impressed with what they can see so I have been so far it's it's one of the better looking Wii games that you know we've seen out there we've got a lot of people that you know have come by and commented so we're pretty excited about the visual look of the game, for one. I mean, I think that's a slam dunk right off the bat. Yeah, you know, and I've even, like, when you guys first started releasing screenshots, I remember people on the Internet going, that is total bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people, you know, accuse us of, oh, you know, what kind of doctoring is going on here, or this must be some sort of post effects, but, you know, the software speaks for itself. I mean, you guys can take a look at the live game. We have it up there right now in our booth, and it's for real. Great. Now, uh, uh, the shooter, the shooter element. Right. Okay, so you want to talk about, you know, the problem that it's, you know, a first person and, you know, they kind of move away from third person thing. But, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, like I said, the game was developed exclusively for the Wii. So we wanted to, you know, custom tailor the experience that takes the takes advantage of the strengths of that platform. And, you know, when you have motion sensing controls, you know, for a game like Dead Space that's built on, you know, the atmosphere and the tension and the strategic dismemberment, I mean, when you think about those things, it really lends itself to that kind of gameplay. And when people get in there and they start playing, you know, it allowed us, to, you know, as, as creators of the content, to actually do more things than you know you can do in a in a third person game in a lot of ways you know when you come down to horror when you come down to setting an environment you know by allowing us to kind of dictate the camera movement we can really create these scenes and these moments that are that really stand out and kind of freak you out that will dictate the story you know that we can do it's not just scares but you know this really more kind of cinematic storytelling and you know and not just from that standpoint but also from a combat standpoint as well so strategic member and having that having your camera in a controlled path really lets you focus on the enemies and doing you know dealing with those guys so it's actually a challenge people to give it a shot and you know i think they'll be pleasantly surprised and now despite being a rail shooter you guys are going for a full featured game and story this isn't like uh you know house of the dead or time crisis where it's like level one level two level three you're done this is a full featured story that you're just playing through and experiencing. A absolutely. So, you know, one of the main things that we wanted to, you know, prove with, with Extraction was, you know, this is this is a game that is going to, you know, really tell drive home storytelling. I mean, we've got, you know, full facial capture. We have, you know, top rated actors in the game that are really going to kind of, you know, that have, you know, character development and really carry the story through. And so fans of, of the original Dead Space and of, you know, the franchise as a whole, they're really going to see and I, we hope appreciate the amount of detail that we put into the, you know, the kind of character creation and the story that really carries it through. So it's not just, you know, kind of an arcade shooter and that you hop in and just blast things away. I mean, we have tons of great combat. Well, you have arcade modes, though. We do have arcade modes. I mean, that adds a little bit more, you know, replayability and, you know, just makes flushes out the game further. But we have a main story arc that goes through and, you know, from the very beginning of the infection all the way to some more exciting things that happen I can't really get into. But... You know, it is definitely not just that. You know, we have those game modes, and you can have an arcade challenge. 
to hop in, you know, two-player co-op, you know, drop in, drop out experience is also, you know, unique to us, and that's something that we're really excited now, about. Now, we are getting some questions from the chat room, and in the chat room somebody just asked, yeah. since it is based in a, a first-person perspective kind of game, well, is there any chance that we could possibly ever see a PC release? A PC release. Well, right this time, there's nothing. There's no plans for that now. But you know, anything's possible. So. Yeah, because I, I have seen EA release rail shooters on the PC that you control with the mouse. Sure. Yeah, I mean, anything. Like I said, we currently don't have any plans for that right now. But you know, you never know what's down the road. Now, how are you gonna? Uh, another question from the chat room is, how do you plan on competing with games like The Conduit, other really big name, high uh, high uh, brow, uh, um, piece? Uh, excuse me, Wii releases. Well, I mean, those are all great games. You know, you mentioned you know House of the Dead and Conduit, you know, here, and you know, we think those are good games. But I think we have enough unique uniqueness on our side of you know, we have an established franchise that we're really proud of. You know, we have a lot of our original mechanics with you know strategic dismemberment and stasis and TK, and you know, we feel confident in our that you know there's a space for us, and you know that we're growing to you know the growing mature market on the Wii. We, we fit perfectly with that, so we feel that you know we'll stand out on our own merits. Great. Now, is there any information you could... This is another question from the chat room. Is there any information you could possibly give on the upcoming Dead Space movie, or are those two completely different entities, as in the, the, the game development side and the movie side? Yeah, I don't, I don't have any information on that. Just, no, no clue, or you can't talk? Whichever one you want. L little from column A, a little from column B? Pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much. Now, um... What would you say about the game being on the Wii, yet the first game launched on the 360? Would you say that in any way, shape, or form you might be sp uh, splitting your user base a little bit? Like people that want to play both games but may not own both systems, how are they going to get that full story experience that is being continued from the first one? I mean, that's a legitimate question. I think that, you know, when you switch, whenever you do a platform switch like that, you know, you might have some people that, oh, I don't own this system or I don't own that system. I mean, the key thing is that, we're, you know, we're developing this for the Wii. Um, you know, we're hoping that, you know, a lot of people own both consoles, and if they're fans of the series, you know, or somebody might have their PS3 and a Wii, whatever it is, you know, that they can actually get in and, and you know, it encourages them to maybe potentially pick up the system if they don't have it. And those that own it definitely will play it. So I guess a, a more diplomatic way of saying it is it's not so much that you're taking the experience away from 360 and PS3 users, but bringing it to Wii users. Exactly. I mean, that's exactly what we want to do. I mean, there's a lot of people that, that uh, you know, obviously we, we've given that's based on leasing on the PC, PS3, 360. You know, they have that you know, experience and they enjoy it, and that's something that we want to bring to Wii users as well. And, you know, hopefully they'll have the same kind of reaction to it. Now, uh, one question that I have that is the same question that we, we asked uh, the Halo Reach guys is, how are you guys going to make a real uh, thrilling experience and uh, one with, uh, with twists and turns when everybody knows how the game is going to end? Well, you know, you look at that and you can, you can, you can think about that in a lot of movie sequel and prequels and things like that. I mean, think about the Star Wars trilogy, you know, you kind of knew how that was going to end too. So there's a lot of unique things that you can have with character development. And, you know, there's areas that, you know, we don't really know in the original Dead Space. There's a lot of, you know, the, the Ishimura was a ship full of thousands of people in the colony as well. So, you know, we actually have, you know, story elements that are unique to our, you know, franchise that you're going to see in the Wii version that are going to, you know, you're going to make care about them. And, you know, maybe you know what's going to happen, but you might not. Right. So in a non-committal answer, basically, there were a lot of people that were MIA. We're not quite sure what could have happened with them. There are. And, you know, there are people that, you know, you may run into. You never know. So there'll be branching paths and, you know, other things that you can do. And you'll be able to, you know, really delve into that fiction and it'll really flesh it out more. So there's definitely, th if you played Dead Space 1, you, you definitely have a lot of insight into, you know, what's going on with extraction, but it's not just because you know how it's going to end that there's nothing there. There's going to be a ton of stuff, a, a lot of surprises. It, it, it sounds really awesome. Now we got another question from the chat room. They want to know a little bit about the weapons in Dead Space Extraction. Uh -huh. Will we be seeing new weapons over what was in uh, Dead Space, seeing as it was kind of a sealed off environment? They couldn't add any more weapons uh, that weren't there or there, but maybe there were some weapons that, that uh, people created at some point. That, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? What, what, sure. yeah. Yeah, well, we absolutely will have new weapons. Um, you know, a lot of the fan favorites from the original series will also be, you know, in extraction. So, you know, you have your plasma cutter. Part, part of the question was mining tools. People want to know if there's more mining tools this time around. The short answer is yes, there is. <laughs> there are. There are definitely going to be more mining tools. We have uh, one of the key new weapons that we have is, is your rivet gun, which, you know, will, will never leave your side, which uh, I think really plays into the fiction of the mining tool and use it to weld, use it as a puzzle element, and also you can use it in combat. So... 
Okay, now if I can augment that question a little bit, is there any chance that we might be seeing the uh, the uh, laser chainsaw? The laser chainsaw. I, I guess you're referring to the animated feature. And well.